the classic over the head with a cigarette. You see this? This button goes in here when you set up. Okay. See? Boom, like that. Okay. All right? No one told me that you were doing it right now. Who, who's supposed to tell you that, Baba Booey? Somebody is supposed to tell me. <laughs> who's that, Baba Booey again? You, Baba Booey, the whole, the, everyone's laissez-faire when it comes to my show. i got to start busting some balls around here. Some of you guys are going to be fired. Get out of here. Get out. Everyone's fired today. <laughs> Go smoke a cigar. Okay. You know what? Take five of your cigarettes, roll them up into a cigar. Hey, Scott, you know how I like my bagel? How do I like it? How do I usually eat my bagel? What? Toasted and plain. Right. Okay. I just want to see if you knew. <laughs> you there? Who's that? Baba Booey? Hello? Baba Booey. Nice setup on Baba the... Uh... Hello? All right. And he still doesn't now understand... Now you got to tell him where to go. You're supposed to stand at the side of the building, genius. I was at the, the building. I'm inside now because you said you were going to do it yourself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's a trip. Baba Booey. <laughs> All right. Here, Robin. You take the test. TDK wanted me to give the test to the people out on the street, but you know what? I find that it's impossible, and I'm canceling that aspect of the show. <laughs> From now on, you take the test. Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey has the antenna hidden in, in between his big teeth. That's right. You can't hear it. All right. You ready, Robin? Here we go. Numbers, oh, Baba Booey. Hey, get out of here, Baba Booey. You just said you forget today. it. We're not doing it. All right, good. Goodbye. So what's the problem? So get out. So who needs you here? Baba but you, now you're mad at me that I came back up. I, ha I was standing there with a girl on the corner. He said, forget this. We can't do this. It's not set up. The whole thing was not set up. All you had to do was come out of delay. Fred can do that. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. Okay. And then when I get out of delay... But he's done it before. The whole thing isn't set up. He's done it... Someone has to set this up ahead of time. How does it... Wait a second. Sit down, Gary. Uh, I'm getting Fred, tell... No, no, no. Sit I'm down. You know why? Because you're now you're guilty. <laughs> Who, okay, then explain to me, Fred, the process. Who is supposed to enlighten everyone to get set up for the TDK commercial? I told Gary. He during, told me that we I were, we and were I went out everything. on the street. All right, now, wait a second, wait a second. Fred, you tell Gary we're doing a TDK commercial. Correct, because everybody... Who tells correct. Scott to set it up? I believe... That well, should be me, but I didn't know Scott needed to set it up. All I knew is that we had to go out of the way. That's it. Gary, Fred every usually day does that. we've been doing this commercial for the last six weeks. The oh, TDK. we have been doing this every day on the street. No, forget about the street. Right. The TDK commercial we do. Right. It's A CD has to be set up, and a, a cassette has to be set up. Right. Do you know that? Yes. Who do you think sets that Scott up? Scott usually comes in... Right. Sees Who is in charge Scott of telling usually Scott? Howard, you want to ask this? Yes. Question. Scott usually comes in and looks at that list... So it's Scott's ...and fault. sees what time it's on, and then he knows when we're doing the so test. So is it your fault or Scott's? That's all I want to know. I want to know who to blame. Scott usually knows. I've never Just told... Just tell me. Is it your job to tell Scott or is it Scott's job to know? If it's my job to tell Scott, I have never told him before. Okay, so it's Scott's job. I guess so, because I have never told him before. I never tell him... That Whose job is it to set up for the TDK? I'm going to ask you Scott's job. It's Scott's, Scott's job. job. In other words, you don't have to worry about that. I don't, go, I don't go to Scott and tell him he sets Scott, up for Scott, is this the truth? He sets it up on his own. It's it's all set up except for the B button. But I but I didn't know exactly when. I'm working on best of. I'm not listening to the show. I, so I came in the to, last break. I said, "Who is, is it, supposed to take me out of delay?" I I usually do that. You do that, right? I say, is anyone in charge of telling you to do that? Or are you supposed to do that on your own? I'm supposed to do that when the commercial is coming up. But all right. I don't so from know now on, when you have got to be aware. Do but you need I can't someone? sit and listen to the so show. So why don't you arrange? For, if you can't sit and listen to the show, why don't you arrange for somebody to tell you ahead of time? Usually they, they've been telling me. I've been telling Ganji. Let me know when the. Uh, now why doesn't Ganji know? Fred, did you tell Ganji we were doing no, this? No, I did not. You did not. I told Gary. And so I are you the culprit I, in this? <laughs> I very well may be. You are the culprit. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> so it is your fault. No, are you willing you to accept know, responsibility? You know something? Who is accepting you responsibility? Know this is my responsibility. I don't, oh, I you're now accepting I'll responsibility. Accept responsibility. Why are you accepting responsibility? Because I should. I did not. You know, know what? You know why you're accepting responsibility? I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because you want to. You want to be a big hero here, and you know what? Even if you accept responsibility, you know nothing will happen to you. There's no consequence involved. That's not true. No. But meanwhile, I've now spent 15 minutes on this frigging commercial. And you should thank me. Don't accept responsibility <laughs> if it's not your responsibility. You should thank me. Hey, okay. hey, Gary. I'm not laughing. There's nothing to laugh about. I'm not thanking you for nothing today. You don't thank me for anything any day. You're damn right I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to rely on you for my job. I'm your boy. To smack around and kick around. Don't accept responsibility because you want to be some kind of hero on the air. If you knew it meant your job, would you accept responsibility? No, you wouldn't. What are you talking about? It wasn't your responsibility. It was Fred's responsibility. No, it wasn't. It was mine. Don't come in like some kind of hero. Fred, you just wanted me to explain... You didn't explain anything. You told me it was Scott's responsibility. You, now you I'm cleared here. yourself of all charges. Fine. Now, three seconds later, you're accepting all responsibility. Okay, fine. Because you're a big jackass. That's no, why. No. I learned from the biggest. Charles Lindbergh, Baba Booey. He's going down. Baba Booey. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Don't accept. You, you just cleared yourself of all charges. Why would you now accept responsibility? Because now, believe it or not, I feel I am responsible. 
Oh, now you've you've thought it over and you're responsible. Now, how, tell me how you're responsible. Because I did not know that somebody I did not know that somebody should let Ganji know when we're doing the commercial. But Fred knew that, so it's Fred's responsibility. Okay, that's fine. So why are you accepting responsibility? I figured big if Fred shot? told me, I'm not being a big shot. You're being a big shot on the air. I'm trying to get oh, my. I'll accept responsibility. Ah, you're gonna be shut Fred's, up! You're going to be Fred's pal, shut and don't up. tell me to shut up. Hey I'm Gary, not, I'm not hey, accepting Gary, responsibility. I'm not shutting up because you know something. I'm trying Gary. to cover for myself. No, 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 no. I'll tell you why I'm not shutting up. Why? Because this goes on every day with the commercial, and when you have a radio show and you got to sit here and you're trying to move things long, Gary. You want people... I got three guys here in charge of the TDK commercial, and not one of them can get it right. So why should I shut up? Don't tell me to shut up. When you do a radio show and right. things aren't going well, right. we'll see how well you handle it. Okay. Mr. No Pressure in my life with the art cells. I'll if, you know what, cells if I have friggin' art cells, it has nothing to do with whether there's pressure in my it's life. Got, you, you know you something? Create you have pressure. no pressure. And when you're under pressure, of pressure... When you're under pressure like I am... And you're under pressure for the ratings, I, and I'm, you'll tell me I'm why the TDK I'm commercial under, isn't done. I'm not saying I'm under more pressure than you. So don't be a wise because ass. you're under a lot doesn't hey, mean Bof, that no one else hey, can Bof, be under any. Hey, Bof, why don't you relax? <laughs> yeah, why don't I relax? I, who said relax? All right, I tell you what. I'm going to skip the TDK commercial, relax? and we'll see if they want to pay for it. And who we'll see said, if they pay your salary. They'll take it said, out of your check. They'll take the two grand that TDK pays for that commercial out of your relax? check. Who said relax? You told me to shut up. There's a difference. And don't tell me to shut up. I'm sick of getting yelled at. I don't care. Then leave the room. No one invited you in. I'm ready to leave. Goodbye. Sick of getting yelled at. Comes in here. He clears himself all responsibility. Then he's going to be a big <laughs> shot. And he, no, I guess I will take responsibility, both. If you're going to take responsibility, be prepared to, to, to deal with me then. I'm going to take responsibility. He's not taking any responsibility, big wise ass. He's being a big shot. I'm taking responsibility. I take responsibility. That, that's some. That's unbelievable. He's taking responsibility. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's not taking responsibility. Fred took responsibility, and then he's going to be Fred's pal. He's going to, hey, I, I, it's my fault. Fred, from now on, tell Gangy to tell Scott to I set up. I made a mistake. I told Gary, assuming that he would go down the hall. That's why I made a made an effort to Baba Boo is going to be a pal now. He's going he's to take your responsibility. He just cleared himself of all charges, and now he's got to take responsibility. From now on, yeah. Mr. Ganji gets the word. That's like robbing today now. Oh, no, it's my fault. It's okay. Everybody, everybody's clear. My Jack, fault. Jackie admits full responsibility. My fault. <laughs> now, guys, every day you can assume we're going to do two TDK commercials. We're okay, going to go I, out on I the street. I know that. I know that. Fred is going to tell Ganji. Yep. Ganji's going to tell... Somebody, you, Scott, yeah, Scott. Scott's going to tell me. Scott's going to tell Baba Booey. I got nine guys. That's the problem. Nobody's doing anything. We yep. always have breaks in the chain. Gary told me earlier to set up for the oh, street shit. test. You know, because I'm a laissez-faire kind of guy. I'm an easygoing <laughs> guy so they can get away with it. <laughs> but I got to stop busting ass around here. You know what you ought to do, Scott, as yes. a reminder? Yes. So the, the chain doesn't break down. Write it uh, backwards on your head. And okay. then when you look in the mirror in the morning, <laughs> I'll remind you. You say TDK. See, right that's, T that's why you're the boss. I never thought of that. Right, right. Here, you, Jackie, write TDK <laughs> backwards on his head. There you go. <laughs> Jackie's writing it on his head. Scott, I was kidding. Oh. All right. <laughs> and then Baba Booyah, him I love. He's a defender of all people. He didn't Baba know when Boo. to keep his mouth shut. It wasn't well, his fault. Well, you know, he no. basically realized this is a good job to take on because it doesn't mean I have to do anything. Right. <laughs> but I don't know what job he takes on. He well, should be in charge. Well, the whole idea of him, he's going to now take responsibility for something that he has nothing to do with. He had absolutely with. nothing to do with. He told me he had nothing to do with it. I accepted it. But he's got to clamor in there. All fr he is Fred accepting responsibility. Okay, I'll accept responsibility. Fred will but think that about doesn't mean he's, he knows a solution to the problem, and now he's going to make sure it gets fixed. Yeah, so, okay. You know what, Baba Bowie? Since you accept responsibility in this, tomorrow I'll hold you responsible for the TDK <laughs> commercial. Oh, oh, now no. you're in charge of it. Oh, no. <laughs> now if it doesn't work, it is your fault. You think going into the street is a field trip? You can no, go relax. No, no. Do you accept responsibility for this? No, and John will be going out on the street for the second test Baba today. Bowie. Good. And uh, Baba Wait, Bowie. I'm, 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 you know what? I'll do you, no, no, I'm going to do you a big favor. Yeah. I'm going to do a big favor. Since I'm such a screw up and a moron, yes. I'll take myself out of the mix completely. Uh, no, you accepted responsibility. Now you're in charge of it. <laughs> the guy's unbelievable. I say to him, is it your responsibility? No. Okay, how is it not your responsibility? He explains himself. I accept it. I get to the bottom of it and find out Fred's the culprit. Yeah. And now he's accepting responsibility. So now that he's accepted responsibility, Robin... Let him have it. He's in charge of the TDK Even commercial. Even if he's not involved in it. If he's not the man on the street, he's still responsible for it coming off well. Yeah. Baba guilty. <laughs> Baba Bowie. You don't know when to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> Just doesn't know with me. Telling me to shut up. A knucklehead. <laughs> 
I think he's flipped his lid. <laughs> now let's take the stupid test. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, John was always supposed to go out on the street. Baba Booey's horrible in the street. <laughs> Baba Booey. John's so much funnier with that stupid stutter of his. Oh, 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 oh. Take a TDK test. Here's somebody who comes on the street. <laughs> uh. I'll tell you, I, 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 I don't believe this. I can't even get the commercials on right. <laughs> It's a complete breakdown. Uh, what's going on? Okay. He left the mic on. He left the mic on. Where Ooh. is he? He's in the office. Drop it off. dead, you bald jerk. Oh, <laughs> man. All I said was he left the mic on and he's in the office. Yeah, and that's that your he left the mic on. He left the mic on. I tried to defend you by saying you told me to set the thing up where earlier. Put the mic on where your, where your head's burning. Why are you arguing bed, with so me? To throw some eggs on and watch it smoke. <laughs> hey, Baba Booey, I hope you learn your lesson. Don't accept responsibility and be a big shot. Yes. You got it? I, whatever you say is truth. That's what Baba Booey does. If you say that I should jump off a bridge, I'm ready to kill myself. You're starting to act like Baba Booey. <laughs> oh, you mean I was a character before? Yeah, now you're a real cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you right now? I'm at, I'm at uh, the desk. <laughs> what are you doing? I am going through your mail. All right, good. That's something you're you good know, at. You should keep that mic on the whole time. In fact, here's a letter right here. Cottage Cheese Butt Stern it's addressed to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to open it now. Hey, Gary. Yes, boss. You understand why you did wrong? Partially. <laughs> you still don't even All right, very good. I I, I, you know what? Maybe you need to repeat after me. Oh, no. You I know, can't because you know you. what? I can't see you, so I can't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> no, this will be good for you. In fact, you've never repeated uh, in, a, in a remote situation. <laughs> True. <laughs> For Christmas? Uh, for Christmas? I will. I will. Get at least one thing right. Get at least one thing right. <laughs> I, I am, am confused. Confused. Because, because it's a new season. <laughs> it's a new season. The stress? The stress? Of marriage. Hold on. Shut up. The interns are laughing at me. <laughs> the stress of marriage. The stress of marriage. And new markets. And new markets. And flossing. And flossing. Is all too much for Baba Booey. <laughs> is all too much for Baba Booey. Right. All right. Now, you're at your desk right now? Yes. All right. You now slam the drawer on your head. <laughs> All right. Very good. There Baba he is. Baba Booey. You got to love Baba Booey. What are we doing? A TDK commercial? Yes, I think so. Baba Booey. <laughs> I was supposed to be hawking 1-800-52-STERN, and here By I am. now, yes. That's why I'm really upset. I got a reprieve from the uh, house that makes these, that prints these up, whatever they call it, copies them. And uh, I can get them to you in time for Christmas till Tuesday. That's it. I got if a little... you call now, right up until Tuesday. Yep. And I wanted to read all the lovely letters we've gotten on Bud Bongo Fiesta, except I'm now still in the TDK commercial, ten minutes later. <laughs> Baba exhausted. Mm -mm. Baba buoy. All right, let me see now. Let's see if this is the set best up. Part now it's not set argument? up because I've had oh, it running. Dear. I've had it running the whole time. Oh, goodness. Right. The best part about the argument was at one point... Gary was trying to articulate himself, and he started snorting at the end of every sentence. <laughs> Did he? We'll have to play that back. <laughs> Did you start snorting? <laughs> Baba Booey. There was one time he said something, and at the end of it was... <laughs> 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 That's why I was laughing. Was it through his nose or through his mouth? I don't know where it came Baba from. I Bowie. think it was his nose. <laughs> My <laughs> friend has a tape of it. Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> it was like, I take Baba responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> was it on, I take Bowie. responsibility? <laughs> Just, I, he was really trying to pronounce something very well, and he was getting every syllable out, and he ended with a D. Wolf. And I take, then he snorted. I take responsibility, D. Baba Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> Baba Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's funny, Frank. You're putting together those sound effects, and that was the guy who was trying to trying to take the rap for you. Yeah. Baba Booey. All right, let yeah. me do the TDK test right now. Here we go. And he yells at me. Mm. <laughs> Can't yell at Fred. Yeah, I know. All right, you ready? Here we go, Robin. All right. Here's number one. All right, you got that? All right, All right number two. And number three. All right, here's number four. And number five. Okay, Robin, go ahead. Tape? Yes. Tape? Yes. CD? Yes. Tape? Wrong? Oh, CD. Right, you you came, came close this time. All right. Well, there it is. TDK. Get TDK tape. You know it's great. <laughs> How many times I got to prove it to you? Don't be a schmo and go in there and get some of those lesser brands. Oh. Uh. I got to take a break, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Any setups on this? No, no setups, as oh, far as I know. Oh, we get through it. Thank then. God. All right, I'll be back right after these words. <laughs> 